Ooh. That deal was screwed. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. My name is Artix, and I want to welcome you back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooptopia server, where we're continuing our epic adventure here on the center map. Now, in the last episode, I know I told you we were going to be furnishing the base and getting it all took care of, but it's not going to happen. After some careful consideration and having a few ideas, uh, let's adjust this bloom quality real quick. Okay, did that not go? Hmm, okay. Anyways, after, you know, thinking about a couple of other different base designs and things like that, I decided that we're going to do something a little different and we're going to need a lot flatter area. And if we do an egg farm, we can't use the pillars and the ceilings because the eggs will fall through and we'll miss out on them. And we need the eggs so we can make kibble so we can get better dinos and so on and so forth. So right up here, I've actually picked out a spot and set up a little temporary hut marking the location. Hey, hey, get out of here. And th these are the modded walls, so what I've been doing when I log out is I just place a wall like that so I'm safe. And then when it's time to leave, I pick it up. So I've got some extra supplies. Um, ooh, that deal was screwed. <laughs> but I have some extra supplies. Um, running around with NRG and running around with Archer and things like that. I picked up some materials. But I think we've got the majority of what we need. Uh, we're going to be doing some building with ooh, free water. We're going to be doing some building with the uh, dinosaur gateways. And we're going to kind of do something a little different. And uh, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. So if this video makes it out, awesome. If it doesn't, we'll just, I'll pretend this never happened. So anyways, what we're going to do, let me just pop in here real quick. Like I said, I've got all kinds of supplies. But what we need right now is not that many foundations. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff over. Perfect. So we're... Oh, wow. That was still too heavy. Let's go ahead and move half of those back. All right. I think all in all we're going to need 60 foundations. And that's not relevant, I just can't break it because I've been keeping supplies in there. But what I'm thinking is, we want to get it kind of lined up with the coast here. So let's go into K mode, or for you console guys, the orbital camera. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I kind of want it to be... It needs to come to the right just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good there. Alright, so here's the thing. We're going to be dumping a lot of these foundations down. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be putting... Tag on it. We're going to be putting dinosaur gateways, but we need fence foundations. So this isn't going to be the actual size of it. This is just to get it started. Now, I don't know if I have any fence foundations. I have seven. That may be enough. So let's go ahead and eat. Okay, so let's just see here. We have what? Six down? One, two, three. One, two, three. Counting with Arctic. Here, here, here. Alright. So I'm going to want to put one here. And here. Now the reason I'm doing that. Is we're going to come right here. And no. Yes. Like a soap. And no. No. Oh, these things are so tricky sometimes. 
No, I don't want you facing that way. I want you facing that way. Perfect. Okay, so in essence, what's going to happen is I want this to be three long. And when I say three long, dinosaur gates take up two blocks, which is two blocks here. So this is one, two, three. And then we're going to do a curve. So we're going to have kind of a an octagon, hexagon type shape. Um, not for sure how it's going to work, but we're going to give it a whirl and see. And I kind of want to keep you guys with me on this one uh, because building with these can be a little bit of a pain. Alright, so there's our first one. This is going to be our main entrance into the base. Now, the reason I want to do this is I want to put ramps right here so that we can walk our dinosaur in. And then the sides here are going to contain like fabricator, our forges, our smithy, and then this side you can have some storage and things like that. Now, I kind of like this idea as opposed to what I had. Primarily, oh, and we need to extend all these foundations out right now. Uh, I want to do this because there's more space. The other base was kind of limited. Yeah, yeah, okay, perfect. Ooh, I don't know. No, that's not right at all. I think this one's actually off. And this is why we're using this mod. is It just makes it easier on us. So. Come on. Sometimes it's hard to see. Is that it? No. Okay, so let's try moving this one. The thing is, on these dinosaur gateways, there's a fat end and there's a skinny end. We want the skinny end to the inside. Which I'm thinking what's going to have to happen is this number here. And the, uh, <clears throat> well, excuse me, sorry. The Structure Plus stone foundations, or uh, fence foundations, I love because it gives you that arrow. So you, you know which way it's pointing. So see, that's better. That, that lines up a whole lot better. So we're going to be doing the same thing on this side. Now the fence foundations are in there. One, it's to aid getting them to snap. But I guess there was an update at some point where these create their own snap point. You kind of have to finagle them, but you can see, no, no. Thank you, Ark. Okay, Ark's being a pain. Nope, okay. Anyways. Sometimes they'll create their own snap points. Sometimes it just, it won't happen. Let's take a look. Okay, everything looks even. Now, the foundations are in here to facilitate attaching these. Uh, it just makes it easier. And also we're gonna be able to place walls on these and take them all the way up. And once they reach the top, you'll be able to put a ceiling on. So now what we have to do is get rid of this plant and what I'm thinking with the base is I want to do kind of a compound type base um, if that makes any sense whatsoever all right come on I want everything to be attached and be all in one I don't want to have your uh, typical style base where you know you got to run across the courtyard to reach your kibble farm or have to run all the way over here to reach your flyer things like that I want it to be all contained in a one and then I want to surround it all with a big wall spike walls and get some plant species X turrets up so give me a little bit to get this going because it's gonna take a lot of foundations and I'm gonna need quite a few of these um, gateways and several walls which I do have some glass walls, so I'm thinking we may may do like a layer of stone and some glass and 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll take a look and see what you guys think. But uh, yeah, give me a couple of minutes to get this knocked out, and I'll bring you back to show you the ground floor design that's completed. And then I'll show you how we're going to do the second floor. And we're back, everybody. And uh, you've met Blackbird before. But that's not why we're here. We are here to look at the new base design. Now keep in mind this is just the first floor. Now with the dino gates, you know what, let's do an aerial view first. It'll make life a whole lot easier on us. You see the dino gates give us those kind of rounded corners. And that's where I wanted to put the windows to get um, some ambient light in. Now the only complaint I have is there is a very minute gap right there. But what we're going to be doing is uh, kind of using this as a loading and offloading dock. that will be ramps right here so you would walk your loaded dinosaur in, stop, get off, offload your supplies into the boxes that we'll have probably on either side. And then when you're done, you just walk your dino out and move them into the garage that we'll be making here soon. Now this is just going to be the workshop. You see our last one was only too tall. This one gives us four. So if we wanted, I mean, we could put a vault right here and a vault right here. But there's not much sense in doing that. I mean, we could, but we have these deep storage boxes that hold up to 5,000 weight. Get out of here, Packy. Um, so I'm thinking I may just put those down. But the tricky part is going to be getting the roof on. Because I think I want to go ahead and do all wood for the ceiling. But, oh, hello. The issue is, how would you get up there? Well, my friends, that is something that I've been thinking about. And I don't know how well it's going to work. But I'm kind of interested to try it. So, give me just a second. And uh, grab some ceilings here. Wood ceilings. Oh yeah, and I was over there and picked up a bunch of eggs. Okay, maybe that's too many ceilings. Oh yeah, way too many. So what I'm thinking is, because normally you can't build anything off of the top of these. But if you have uh, walls going all the way up, you can. So let's see how that looks on the inside. Oh, you can't even see it. That's perfect. Okay. So, what I'm kind of thinking is like this and like this. We'll close that because it's in the way. And the same thing over here. Well, I better get my item out first, huh? Now you're probably sitting here looking at it going, all right, what are you, what are you doing? Well, I, I'm not seeing it. Well, I don't think I have any, but if not, I have some supplies in here that we can use. So let's just see here. I have one. <laughs> okay. So ramps, let's move this down here. We need wood thatch and fiber, not a problem. We've got a bunch of wood, so let's just take three. We've got a bunch of thatch, so we'll take three. And fiber, I don't know how much we have. Oh, we have plenty, so we'll take three. And we are way too heavy now. What I put that on, eight? Okay. Ah, let's go ahead and put those away because we don't need them right now. Now, I don't know if this will work. So, like I said, if this video comes out to you, great, it worked. If it doesn't come out, then this didn't work and I'll just pretend it didn't happen. So, let's see here. Can we get you? Whoa. 
Oh man, if this works, it's gonna be freaking amazing. Oh, we need some more wood. But you kind of see what I'm getting at here is we bring these foundations out to where these ramps will meet it. And you know, truly and honestly, we could cut this down to one. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that just to, just to see for right now. Okay, well apparently we're not gonna get that one cut down. But I think right there would be where the foundations meet up. So let's go grab a couple of stone foundations real quick. Let's see, foundation, yeah, let's just grab 10. Seems like a good amount, right? Oh, I don't have any of my defenses with me. Don't be too heavy, you're not too heavy, perfect. Oh, that packy is gonna wreck him. I should have just left him alone. Because I have no idea what level this pack he is. Also, does anybody know what you would use a packy for? I mean, I've heard that they knock stuff out, but why do I need a dinosaur for that when I can just do it with a trank dart or trank arrows? Oh, he was a freaking 150. That sucks. Oh well. I'd have been a little more upset if it was like a Rex or something like that. Can we come out one more? Dang it. We can't. So, hmm. I guess for here we would have to do a ceiling and a pillar. Let me play around with this a little bit and uh, get it figured out and I'll bring you guys back here in just a second. Welcome back everybody. I finally got it figured out. And as you can see instead of coming off the angled sides here I went for a more contemporary design just coming straight up. Uh, this will be filled in uh, probably put some pillars or some walls or something like that so it doesn't look like it's floating this is just for right now. And then right here we'll probably have our two wooden walls and of course a little thatch ceiling but there's going to be an entrance here and there's also going to be an entrance over here now I stuck this out the back I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with it yet I'm thinking I may put a couple of doors you know, right here or something like that and some benches because wow holy brightness look at that view pretty spectacular but anyways, I'll take you downstairs. The only thing I've done down here is put in a smithy, and that's because I had a stego get stuck inside, and he destroyed most of my greenhouse windows. Um, so this is where the smithy's at. And what's probably going to happen is I'm probably going to put the fabricator in this section. Um, I'm going to try to get eight forges right here, and I'll show you guys how to do that. It'll probably be in the next episode. This side here will be my cooking station, so I'm thinking cooking pot right here, industrial grill here, and I don't know, preserving bins or something like that. Uh, this is going to be kind of the power area. I'm going to go ahead and get a generator either here or here. And then I'll have a row of fridges and then a row of the power dehydrators. Now. What's neat about the power dehydrators, they're part of a mod, but it's kind of a upgraded preserving bin. Rather than running off a of spark powder, it runs off electricity. And you still have to put spark powder and oil in it, and it'll turn things into beef jerky so that you don't have to worry about your spark powder running out while you know you're at work or you're at school or something like that. And it's kind of neat. But another thing it does is it removes the spoilage timer. I don't... There... I may have some in here that... Yeah, right here. Sealed cook prime meat jerky. And as you can see, no spoilage timer. 
Now, from what I hear, is when you need it, you just click it and hit use item and it removes the wrapper. And then you get a spoiler timer again, so it's kind of like beef jerky you buy at the store. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm thinking a couple of those here just to make jerky. You know, have our fridges for our kibble, our eggs, berries, meat, etc. And this corner, I haven't the slightest clue what to do with this corner. Not at all. I mean, I could just do nothing but storage along this wall. Haven't quite decided yet, but we'll get it figured out. But anyways, everyone, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We work very hard on these videos, and uh, we do it all for you guys. So, without further ado, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.